local emergency response crews are getting prepared for a disaster. Today, volunteers in the Ashland Community Emergency Response Team, or CERT, went through an earthquake simulation to prepare for the big one. They say they hope it doesn't come in handy, but better safe than sorry. It's like a scene from a disaster movie. But I kept thinking, which victim should we take care of first? We have six victims. Every detail of an earthquake scenario has been recreated, down to the gruesome injuries and the convincingly panicked victims. Screaming and moaning and asking them to take me now. To take me now, take me now. I need help right away. The training is a test of problem-solving skills and resolve for the newest class of CERT volunteers. In the event of an actual earthquake, they're the ones the community will turn to. We're going to rely very heavily on these folks, not only for the skills that they've been taught, but to teach other people in the community just-in-time training. In the past 15 years, CERT volunteers have been deployed 33 times in real-life disasters. Trainers say those skills in triaging and transporting victims, emergency medical care, and emotional calm can and have saved people from the most common killers. Airway obstruction, bleeding, and shock. If we can mitigate those from the folks who are injured within the first hour, the likelihood of their survival is increased at least 50%. The idea is that after today, those volunteers will go home and create a network of trained responders that can protect those closest to them. Myself, my household, my neighborhood, the community. And while the event was just a simulation, trainees say they've already discovered skills they never knew they had. And when that call comes, they'll be ready. I can do this. Now, today's training is one of two annual training events the CERT team does. Participants from today will be ready for the field, but the next class won't train until the fall.